Welcome back. You're watching the award winning TV station Marshall Television Kenya, and this is Marshall Prime News to kick us off is our education segment. Chianda Boys High School in Rareda Sub County in Siaya County is well known for its good run in academics that made the Ministry of Education to uplift its status to extra county category. Now I am uh, Mr. Francis Utinouko, the principal of Chianda High School. I was transferred to this school two weeks ago from Barcovino Secondary School. Uh, when I came, I'm in the process of doing SWOT analysis so that I know the strengths and the weaknesses that are there uh, which makes us not perform the way we used to perform before because I was here about six years ago as a teacher and I used to the ranks to become the deputy before going to Barakovino. So one thing that I learned when I arrived was on our routine. I found the routine to be very strenuous. Eh? So we sat together with the deputies and the teachers and we agreed to modify it Kidogo so that he allows students to have time to rest at night and so that when they are being taught in the morning, they are attentive. My name is Nehemiah Tienu Cheng, Deputy Principal in charge of uh, administration. Uh, our school boasts of around uh, 1,600 students and uh, we are an extra county school, Category 1. Category 1 is a school very close to the nationals. We are very proud of our school. Uh, currently, we are uh, a 10 stream school. Mr. Francis Ouko, the school principal, admits the school steady improvement in academics since the inception of the institution. The achievement has seen the community admire to be associated with Chianda Boys High School. We have a lot of opportunities in terms of strengths because this school receives good students. Majority of students were admitted here have scored 300 marks and above in KC, PE meaning they come in when they're already at a mean grade of eight. That is a B minus. So that is what we've been preaching from the time I came, to make them understand that they're capable of improving. I want to say that uh, in the past, Chianda used to do very well. Even right now, it is still doing well, but there was a slight decline in performance. So I want to say that um, as a school, uh, so far we have been doing well. If you look at our performance over the years, the school has been basically in the mean of uh, seven uh, and above, save for the last uh, two years, that is the year 2022 and 2021 when we had a slight drop. In the year 2022, we had a mean of 6.3 and the year 2021, we had a mean of 6.8. But before that, we do a mean of seven. This year, we have a total percentage of 403 students. Uh, who have been adequately prepared and we are targeting that we get a mean of 7.8. We believe that with the measures we have put as a school, right from teaching to evaluation, will propel us to the mean where we are supposed to be. With these excellent academic achievements, Chianda Boys High School has become the most admirable public secondary school enrolling over a thousand students across the country. Our form ones are uh, six streams from twos are six three and four are seven each and that gives a total of around 16 and the students our total population for uh, the teaching staff remains 60 is around 36 37 non-teaching staff uh, that's the kind of staff that actually carries out the daily uh, work in the school we are in, a, in, a, in, in an institution whereby uh, departments are decentralized. So as an in charge of uh, maybe also a department, uh, we do, uh, in, in the department we also, we also um, have the HISS for the head of subjects who are also responsible for various subjects. The Ministry of Education Rarieda CDF office, parents and BOM members have played a key role in improvement of school infrastructures. 
Uh, we have uh, facilities which are sufficient, not sufficient, but are serving us. Eh? Uh, classrooms are around 29 and they're all occupied. The few are uh, over enrolled. But the good thing is that I found when there is a, a structure that is coming up, a tuition block, uh, which has got six classrooms and six labs. Uh, the dormitories are equally not sufficient because we have even one which is uh, a body structure. But again there, I'm happy that the BOM together with the management of the school had initiated a project of the dormitory that is also being constructed and is going on. I want to pledge my support that we will support those two structures so that they are completed and they easen the congestion and give us room for improved enrollment. At the moment, uh, Chenda High School is a, a 10 streamed school by registration eh? and it's supposed to have a minimum of 1800 students if their all classes are occupied. But the enrollment has gone slightly down. We are at 1541. So it means that we are operating below our, <laughs> our capacity. And I believe with time, we will get there. The school owns a number of trophies awarded from various co-curriculum and academic fields. Our rugby, our rugby team, basketball, hockey, made it to the regionals. And we hope in term two, the term two games, that is um, rugby five, I mean, I mean uh, the rugby team, the basketball five, uh, five, five, five aside, we talk about the uh, volleyball, the rackets, the football. We have given them time to train. They have been facilitated and we hope they will make it even beyond the regionals. Otherwise, as a school, we believe in the core values. We have the core values of discipline, honesty, hard work, and um, we also talk about integrity and teamwork. My name is uh, Joe Abouma. Dongo, um, the boarding master of Chenda High School. Um, currently, we are having uh, 14 domes, and um, we have a catering unit for our students that is feeding them. The boarding basically is in charge of uh, looking at uh, the accommodation and the catering, uh, the feeding of the students. We have uh, a catarers, we have uh, uh, 16 uh, cooks. Some of them are employed permanently by the school. Some of them are on casual basis. The school administration has frontlined in the student discipline that has been lauded by the students' council. My name is Runi Madime the student council of Chenda High School. I want to take this opportunity first to thank the principal of our school and even our teachers for the great work they're doing to ensure that this year we're going to make sure we have positive deviations in our mean grade as a school. In our school council, we are a total number of 136 members who are facilitating the school routine and the government of the school is well stable together with our candidates. This year we are targeting a mean of 7 to 8 plus and we are sure uh, the cohesiveness of our principal, our teachers and our disciplined students we are going to achieve our intended goals. After my phone focus, I like to pursue aviation. My mentor is my class teacher, Mr. Nelson Oromo, together with the patrol council. Mr. Nemao Chien. But we do hope this year the results will really improve because our target is 7.8. That is the minimum that we expect. The coming in of the new principal, Mr. Francis Ouko, who is also the school alumni, has given the teachers, support staff and students hope in academic improvements at Chianda Boys High School. Chianda High School in Uyoma, Rakeng, have been changed, the new prince have been changed the current principal to the new principal. Uh, we are getting live videos where the celebration is taking place in Chanda High School. There's been massive celebration in Chanda High School. The students have been longing for a new principal and finally it has happened. It seems like God has answered their prayers. The school has been longing for good academic progress and they're believing that this new principal is going to be the, the 
father of that new improvement. Maybe if you could hear from one of the students, please. Thank you, your reporter. Thank you, young man, for giving us the opportunity. Can you please start with your name? Uh, I am Fidel Omondi from Form 4 White. Yes. And just to present that I am very happy for our new principal. This is my fourth time to come to this school. I first of all came here in 1990 as a student and learned for <laughs> four years. Then went to the university. And before I went to the university, I also came back because I had a few challenges and worked here as an NTS for one year. During that time, I was paying my fee and cleared the fee. Then I went to the university. Then from the university, I was posted again here as a teacher. And I taught here for 16 years and rose through the ranks to become the deputy principal. So from here, I was promoted to Barcoweno, where I worked for six years. And now I've come back now for the fourth time as the principal. So what I want to assure uh, everybody is that uh, I'll do my best with the support of the board, uh, the parents, and my colleagues, the teachers, the students, uh, the community, and even you people, so that we make sure that Chianda High School regain her lost glory. For Masha Prime, Masha Television, I'm Rita Kering Chibet.